Hi everyone, welcome to the visual guide for the Fractal Continuum. This is the second of two new endgame dungeons made available by patch 3.0 Heaven's Ward. My name is Mistech and I'll be your dungeon guide. In this first section, watch out for the extra trash that runs in. Tanks be ready to pick these up. Watch out for the usual AoEs and burn through it all. The first boss is Phantom Ray. This boss will cast Double Sever, wide alternating AoEs that should be dodged appropriately. He will cast a Rapid Sever on his primary target, dealing a high amount of damage. Tanks can cool down through it. Healers keep an eye out on the AoE healing, and everyone will eventually need to watch out for the added circle AoEs during Double Sever. What he lacks in mechanics he makes up for in health, so keep dodging everything until he's down. The next set of trash again deals with extra spawn adds, keeping the group on its toes. The second boss is Minotaur. This guy shares a number of similar abilities as other Cyclops and Minotaurs we've dealt with before. There's 11 tons swipe, which is a short frontal cone that can be avoided by the tank. All melee need to avoid 111 tons swipe, which is a wide circle AoE swing that will do a ridiculous amount of damage. This ability cannot be stunned. Disorienting Groan is a knockback that does group-wide damage and will cause the Minotaur to rush around the room. When he finishes rushing, he'll cast 10 tons slash, a very long frontal attack that all players should stand behind to avoid. Last Lastly, he'll run to the center and cast 1111 tons swipe, a room-wide attack that will destroy anyone on the platform unless interrupted. To interrupt him, a player needs to click on one of the four tanks around the room, releasing an add onto the platform. This add will distract the Minotaur from his cast as he runs over to consume it. To avoid buffing the boss, the group should destroy the add before it is consumed by the Minotaur. At this point, the fight resumes. Avoid his hits, rinse and repeat until he's down. In this section, the group will need to jump between three platforms, destroying any adds that spawn before activating each control unit. Once all terminals are active, the group will be able to jump to the center of the platform, where they'll face the curator. This boss has a large frontal cleave, and the tanks should always keep him faced away from the group. Healers also have to be on the lookout for an AoE blast, and all players need to avoid AoEs as necessary. As you may notice, this platform is divided into a number of smaller squares. Throughout the fight, the curator will try to educate us, and random sections of the platform will light up. Standing in the lit-up platforms will give players a vulnerability debuff. As such, it's imperative that you stay out of the lit-up parts until his cast is complete. Throughout the fight, a random player will be affected with Aetherochemical Explosion, pulsing damage and knocking back anyone nearby. This should be dispelled as soon as possible. Adds will also spawn on outer squares, and over time will light up the squares they're on before moving to another square. All players must switch and destroy these adds as soon as possible to avoid lighting up excess squares. As the fight progresses, the number of adds spawned will increase, so DPS need to be ready to switch immediately. The curator will also spawn mines over random squares on the platform. Standing in the mines will cause a high amount of damage to players anywhere nearby and affect them with paralyze. Again, avoid these at all costs. Rinse and repeat until the boss is down. Cross your fingers for that awesome minion. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. As always, thanks for watching. Till next time.